Okay, everyone. So here's a cool project that I did uh, using, of course, uh, open source uh, Demotics home automation software, right? So I have a uh, utility sensor that records data for electric utility utilization over time. So as you can see right here, you know, you can see where things peak, you know, when our uh, usage climbs up and when it goes down over time. Um, what I've done is I've recently purchased some ESP8266 Wi-Fi serial modules and I've written a program that allows me to hook a chip into the home automation system and it's wireless, right? So here it is. So when our electric utilization is low, let's say under a kilowatt, the green light lights indicating that we're saving money and we're in conservation mode, right? So this helps us keep track of our energy utilization, right? But let's say I go and I turn on a bunch of lights, right? So I'm going to turn on all the kitchen lights, right? Turn on the outdoor lights. Heck, I'll even turn the office light up to full brightness, right? And that should be enough to... Uh, to raise our electric utilization, right? So you can see the office light is coming on now. And watch what happens, right? So if we go over on the next data sample that comes through, if we go over a kilowatt, right? So there's the total usage for the entire house. If we go over a kilowatt, uh, you're going to see the indicator change here. So what ends up happening and the way this works is, and by the way, there's the, um, there's the Wi-Fi chip. So the way this works is each, each LED is programmed to a specific variable, right? So the, there's a conditional loop that runs, and if the electric utilization is over a kilowatt, when the next sample comes in, it turns on the red LED, indicating that we are energy hogs, right? And when we fall back under a kilowatt, the green LED will light back up again, right? So let's go ahead and turn off all this wasteful energy utilization, right? By turning off all of these lights that we're really not using, right? Uh, I have to fix that, but let's turn off the office light, right? So there that goes, right? So now, if we wait, when the next data sample comes in from the utility sensor, which by the way is on our electric panel down in the basement, it monitors um, the entire house utilization for energy. And it compiles that data over time and in real time as well. So once we drop below a kilowatt on the next data read, you'll see that we'll fall back to a green light. Green is good. Green means money, folks. The energy companies may not like us monitoring our utilization so closely, but I do because it keeps money in our bank account. So I can take this little module, right, and all I'm doing is I'm powering it with a USB voltage right there. So it's you just give it power, it's on our Wi-Fi network, and it'll tell us whether or not we've crossed that, that um, kilowatt threshold. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of many potential uses of the ESP8266 chip. It's basically a module. It's available for $8. And if you can write some code, you can make it do pretty much anything. Uh, my next project for this module will be... I have another one, but uh, my next project will be a real-time temperature sensor, which will send data, uh, temperature data, into the home automation system. So that will be my next project. I figured this would be pretty cool, so hope you enjoyed watching.